Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for Capricorn. You're about to get an angry phone call from somebody? 111 on the camera? Ooh, somebody's mad here. You guys are either going to get into an argument. Okay, there's a lot of different things already coming out here. So somebody who's mad is maybe about to reach out to you. Somebody that's been maybe holding that they it's like somebody has had like a buildup of anger. Maybe you guys are about to let somebody have it. Take it how it resonates. But I see like an argument over text or a phone call. You may receive an unexpected angry message from somebody or you may get some communication um, and then it's going to maybe lead to an argument or you're going to be receiving some type of news or some type of awaited communication. But somebody's pissed or it's going to be some type of conflict or fight here. Tell me more red rose so it says blooming love life eroticism Ooh, happy relationships tell me more and clock timing issues so just a matter of time Ooh, this person feels like it's only a matter of time that you somebody's like maybe mad because either they think you you're in a happy relationship or they know that it's only a matter of time before you end up in a uh, a happy relationship with somebody they may even think you're sleeping with another person yeah or they think it's only a matter of time before you do start sleeping with another person clarify anger we have protected from evil attracted see somebody's mad because you've cut them out because this card says filtering out the bad you guys may have cut somebody out yeah, you may be protecting your energy from somebody. Like you had to cut this somebody out of your life because you were mad. You have and somebody's maybe mad because there's a lot of good things that have manifested into your life or that will be. And somebody's pressed about that. Tell you about phone. We have ghost. See, somebody is is coming back. This is somebody you have unfinished business with, guys, or somebody that feels guilty, regret. This is somebody that you had some type of conflict or issues with in the past. <clears throat> maybe something there was never a closure to a situation or something like that this could have been you may be receiving a phone call from a ghost somebody that ghosted you for some of you tell you about red rose cheating Ooh, third party see what is this third party situation bad choices okay so we have painting incorporate incorporate a little variety express your creativity a new creative project I'm telling you guys, this person, guys, this is going to sound delusional. I don't know if this is going to be like the, whose reading was that? Sag's reading, I think, that I did last night. Some of you guys could be a Sag. This could be your reading. This could resonate for you. See, impressing others, confident in yourself, careful with your ego, recognition of for your efforts, becoming popular. Somebody is thinking that they don't like how confident you are right now. They may even see you looking good. Like, you see how this girl's got these heels on? She got this sexy outfit on, like. Somebody does not like the attention. Like, just say you guys posted a picture, like a sexy picture or something like that. Their mind's going all, it's going, okay? Like, they're like, oh, she must be, or they may, he must be getting uh, picture, you know, messages from a bunch of different people. And I don't know, feeling, this person just feels cut out. They feel, um, yeah, they feel like you cut them out of their life. And they don't know if this is just a done deal or if you guys are going to get back together. But Spirit says this has been a, a period of change. Yeah, what died will live again. So I guess it is going to come back. Spirit says that, you know, somebody you may, you guys may not know what the future holds for this connection. They may not know what the future holds for this connection. But I do see a, a, a rec like a resurrection of the situation. Yeah, we do have victory. Spirit says focus on your goals. It's like this person, this situation is going to come back better. Yeah, somebody needs to face some issues. Yeah, stand by your morals, unquestioned, blind faith. Find your truth and live it. A sense of belonging, your social circle. A big success. See, you guys have a lot of good things coming in. I feel like you guys are going to have a lot of good people around you too. And there's like a situation that you had to cut out of your life and may need to continue to cut out of your life because it's just this person's not ready. There's some things that they need to face and conquer and work on and heal. Um, but it's like the situation will, will come back around in a different form, in a better form in the future. But it's like after, yeah, becoming wiser in life, this per somebody needs to learn some lessons, guys. Either you did, they did. It has something to do with, yeah, it says someone may surprise you. So you guys may think it's done with this person, but yeah, back, somebody went to a, somebody, whoever you're dealing with likes attention, y'all. 
and they could have went back to somebody that was giving them attention or they could have went back to something from their past. They need to stop focusing on the past and focus on the future. Yeah, Spirit says, believe in miracles. Don't give up hope. Magic surrounds you. Okay, I'm only going to look at a few more of these. Back and forth attitude. See, this is a very fickle person. This person's been having a hard time making healthy choices for themselves. It's like... I don't know how else to put it. So somebody's mad at you because they feel like you could be involved with somebody else or you will be involved with some. They feel very abandoned by you. Give me a few more on that. Well, tell me more about why this person's mad. I'm telling you, ice. You guys have gone cold on them. You have stopped taking action, action towards them. You're emo emotionally detaching from them. They feel like things are at a standstill. So I think this person's mad because you're not trying to, yeah, a spider here, be crafty, hidden, creative side, hard work will pay off. What about that boat? Navigating life changes. Be adaptable to situations. Explore your feelings. Opening up sexually. Sex life getting better. Reignite your sex life. What is this about? Cheerleader. Someone, someone will support you. Celebrate all success. Stay positive. What does this have to do with anything? <laughs> Clarify spider and boat. Tattoos. Permanent mark. Decisions that last a lifetime, long-lasting results. Okay. Butterflies undergo. See, there's a change that's happening here. Personal transformation out with the old. What's this mean for my collective? Love. Being in love, strong bond with partner, ready for love. So you guys are changing and manifesting love or being open to it. What does that mean for whoever this angry person is? For Pandora's box? Ooh, somebody's about to... Ooh. Somebody is about to um do something here. Why? Pay attention to your life. What you you they're 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 being forced to see something that they didn't want to see. And somebody is watching you. I'm telling you, somebody's watching you, and they're like trying to make some changes. These changes are the, they're, these changes that they're undergoing is because you guys have pulled back from them. They're about to take a risk and do something, but they're mad. Yep, see, clean. they're about to clean up their act, guys, because they feel like they found happiness in you. Um, they feel like they could have a healthy relationship with you. They feel like they found abundance and prosperity, or that's what you guys could have. So, yeah, somebody is about to clean up their life here to be with you. Yeah, need for grounding, connect with Mother, mother Earth, a desire to escape. Yeah, they feel like it's time to leave a situation behind. From the past, yeah, positive changes are afoot. Feeling vulnerable, shortcomings exposed, fear of being judged. Somebody was letting their insecurities hold them back. Yeah, somebody was worried about their reputation. Something new is, come is yeah, you are overcoming. Somebody's overcoming those limiting beliefs and those insecurities. There's a new beginning that's near. What something is making what is forcing progress here with this forcing progress energy because you guys are standing your ground with this person I'm not I'm I can't make it up guys I told you you pulling back your energy you're standing your ground you're standing by your morals you're and you're just kind of having faith in whoever you believe in um you're seeing the truth you're you're you, you see your truth and you're living it and you're standing on it and it's like now this person feels like they they have no choice but to make some changes in their life if they want to um, see, this is somebody who is very emotionally, you guys can even be emotionally guarded towards this person. Yeah, it's weird. It says powerful changes, something coming to an end, roles are shifting. Yeah. So what's that mean for, what does this powerful change mean for whoever this person is? It's not what you think superficial, superficially attractive. Appearances can deceive. In what way? Opening up sexually, sex life getting better, reignite your sex life. What is up with this? Okay, what's up with that person though? Rigid mindset, need for more self. This person needs some, they have a sex addiction or something, guys. message coming to you a message from higher realms pay attention to the signs what are the what is what are what are the message what is the message that's trying to be delivered to you about 
falling, surrendering, unable to control the spear says there's nothing else you can do. That's why they're telling you to fall back. Okay. They're telling you to fall back and detach because you're dealing with a person that doesn't know what the hell they want. And they're very confused. Things have gotten out of control here. There's nothing you, you can't control this person. You can't heal them. You can't fix them. So the spirit saying that all you can, you need to focus on yourself and your, your, your talents, your abilities, your, your goals and things like that. Because this person keeps making you feel like you're ins insignificant or they, they keep not making you a priority. Ooh, this person's into some weird shit, guys. Hold on. What is this? What is that? See, forcing progress. Something is blocked. Issues are building up. Feeling vulnerable. Shortcomings. Did you guys find out about something? I feel like you guys found out about something. And it made you realize that it was best for you to, like, walk away from the situation. That, that this person, it was dangerous to keep, not like dangerous that they were going to hurt you or kill you. I mean, that could be the case for some of you, but like, you just knew it wasn't a good situation for you. So I do feel like you guys chose to walk away from that. I do feel like you found out about something. You guys could have found out that this person was into something weird. That's all I can say. Or they were into some type of like unconventional or that all they wanted was an unconventional relationship. You guys could have found out that this person was sleeping with more than one person. Um, that they weren't even interested in like a monogamous relationship. It could have been a lot of different things. Okay. I don't know. I want to know why is this person okay again <laughs> this person's upset because they feel like you're moving on and you're going to be in a new relationship soon yeah they're they're mad at you because they're not happy imagine that guys or whatever they were wishing to have they it's not working out for them they they're disappointed about something the full aquarius energy Six of Swords in reverse. It's like <laughs> the star, Aquarius energy again. Clarify the Nine of Cups in reverse. The devil. I'm telling you, this person indulged in something here. Yeah, this, I'm telling you, whoever this person is, guys, they have an addiction. Like, it's like they're into some weird shit. They're either unhappy in a toxic situation, but what I'm getting from this is this person is very greedy. They have a lot of toxic attachments and addictions, behaviors, habits. They're very much in their shadow. Like, there's not balance there. Wow. What about the fool? The queen of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, okay? See, I feel like this person had a, an opportunity to kind of leave all that behind. And be with you and it looked really it looked it, it was like a healthy relationship you guys could have had a healthy relationship you guys could have had it all it looks like abundance prosperity all that right good sex like you guys could have had all that that like the whole package but i think that this person was so deep into their addiction see there's two different queens here so i feel like one of you was like the good opportunity the nurturing like you guys had your shit together and i feel like you were like a good influence for this person um, or I mean, take out resonates. I hope you're not the one that's the toxic one, but take out resonates. But it's like they had an opportunity to like take a leap of faith away from all this toxicity and be with you and have a brand new life. But for some reason, either this person went back to a toxic person or they stayed in a situation with a toxic person. They didn't walk away from it. Um, it's like they're they're stuck. They're stuck in these addictions and stuff like that. So and it's like they're still like not really making the decision to walk away from all those things. But they're mad at you because wow, this is crazy. Five of Wands. I'm telling you, there's something about you guys are gonna get either already getting a lot of attention or you will be. All right. I'm telling you, some of you guys got clarity that this person was entertaining like multiple different people or that they had options or something like that. 
it was even deeper than that. But what's the five of wands in the star? The page of, see, I feel like this person feels like you're on the brink of something new. And they're not happy about this. I'm telling you. See, they could have made some type of impulsive decision as well. What's this mean for my collective, though? See, the Knight of Wands in reverse. What about that? The Sun in reverse. The Ace of Pentacles. And the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Pentacles on the back of the deck. The King of Pentacles. Somebody's slowly transforming here. Yeah, it's like they're, they're slowly, see, isn't it funny how we have the page, we have the knight, we have the king. It's like somebody is going through a transformation here. It could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Um, Maybe they're finally deciding that they want to let go of that lifestyle because we do have the five of cups in reverse. We have the ace of swords. There's a breakthrough here. It's just taken forever and a lifetime. But how does, um? I feel like you guys are pretty guarded. It's like at some point they're going to come in with this ace of pentacles because the knight's carrying the ace. The page is carrying the ace. The king is holding the ace. You know what I mean? So it's like at some point, they're going to let all that shit go, right? And they're going to come towards you. But it's like with the nine of wands, and they may be very close to doing this, okay? But there's delays here, or there's going to be a delay because maybe you guys are no longer optimistic when it comes to this person. I'm telling you guys, this person was deep in some weird shit, okay? Like whoever you were involved with, I don't think that they want you to know this either. I feel like if this person feels like if you found out all the weird shit that they were involved in or that they used to do or the kind of person that they were, I think they think you would not want anything to do with them. I do feel like you have triggered this person to change, but I do feel like when the opportunity presented itself to you, to be with you, to have this new beginning with you, I feel like they refuse to move away from something. So what's making them move away from it now? Karma. Justice is here. Mm hmm what about karma in what way the queen of cups in reverse what about the queen of cups in reverse the king of cups in reverse huh what does that do with my collective the page of wands and see they're about to reach out to you guys i'm telling you and they're gonna maybe feel realize that they missed an opportunity with you like you're no longer it's like you've been dealing with a very emotionally unavailable person i feel like you've been dealing with a very lustful person Somebody that's not really in tune with their emotions. They didn't want to bring emotions into it. They had no problem with sex, but when it came to emotions and feelings and love, yeah, that's where they drew the line, unfortunately. But um, I feel like you guys are in this energy now where it's like they're not getting that same you anymore. It's like you guys are coming out as a true, like this is probably who you were supposed to be. Like this is like coming out as like you guys are a match because you came out as the queen and, queen and king of pentacles. Now you're coming out as the queen and king of cups. It's almost like, so now, how do they feel about the collective being in the queen of the tower? I'm telling you guys, the, the tower for this person is them trying to come back towards you and them realizing that maybe you don't love them anymore or you don't have that. You're not, you're no longer wanting to nurture this situation. You're no longer wanting to support or be, you're not, you're like all that empathy and warmth and healing energy that you used to give to this person, that compassion, you don't have it for them anymore. You guys could be bitter towards this person because they refuse to walk away from something or they refuse to, like, leave a lifestyle behind to, like, like, they did something. Why is the collective mad at them or what is the strength in reverse? Because they did something where they tried to, like, make yourself, like, lower your self-esteem or make you feel like you weren't good enough. Leo energy. What about the magician? The ace of swords. What about the ace of swords? See, then they gained some type of clarity. It's not over with this person. I already saw that. What about the seven of the pentacles in reverse? The high priestess, the two of pentacles. I'm telling you, they still don't know what the hell they want. So what else do they need to know? Temperance. I think I, I don't think I have that deck out right now, but I want to go grab a deck here real quick. And then I'm going to take this over to the extended. If I can find it, let's see.
All right, so we have differences. I knew I had to increase my effort to be with you. I wasn't able to do that. Yeah, so yeah. I just want to live an adventurous life and focus on being independent. My freedom is more important than finding love. I told you. Yeah. It's really difficult to compromise with you. <laughs> I felt like you wouldn't let me in the relationship, so I ghosted you instead. It's more so like this person didn't want to have to do that. They didn't want to have to like, they, this is somebody that possibly ghosted you or they just all of a sudden stopped talking to you. Yep. I was worried that I would get caught dating you. I had to caught you, cut you off. So for some of you, they had a whole other person that they were dealing with too. And yeah, I heard gossip about you. That really has me confused. Lord, I didn't see your worth until it was too late. You didn't deserve that. Would you forgive me? Wow. Twin flame. Your guys want you to know your, your, your guys want you to know you. I can't even talk guys. <sighs> your guys want you to know they're your twin flame and they need time to grow. Give them time to reflect and change. I told you guys, you were dealing with somebody that was like, they ran from you. They ghosted you. They were immature. They were emotionally unavailable. They, when they met you, they weren't ready to settle down. They wanted to have their cake and eat it too. I think they wanted you and they wanted everything else. And they knew that you weren't going for it. So when they felt like you were expecting too much of them or you required too much of them, they would either ghost you or they would just pull their energy back or they would try to make you feel like you were the problem. And um, they were all, they were juggling. And then whenever they thought they were going to get caught, they pulled back their energy too. Um, wow, guys. And then there was maybe some talk about you too, some gossip or something as well. But now someone's realizing that they, they took you for granted. Yeah, but they're, I feel like they're not going to realize that they took you for granted. See, I see this person was even trying to like get back at you or spite you in some way. I ghosted you because I wanted to teach you a lesson. Wow. We have... I felt you were out of my league and didn't, and I didn't meet your standards. So I didn't bother to try to avoid a disappointment. Wow. So when this person felt like they couldn't again meet your expectations, they felt they started feeling insecure. They would just ghost you. And they would go back to indulging in this toxicity. There was a series of unfortunate events in my life. I had to disconnect from the world. It wasn't just you. I had a hard time trusting our connection. It shows to run from you. I had a hard time. I have a hard time trusting anyone. Give me a couple more and then I am going to take this over to the extended. Deception. Yeah. I lied to you so much trying to impress you. I realized it was easier to ghost you to tell you. This person wasn't if like the last time you talked to them or maybe throughout the duration of your relationship with them, they told you a lot of things that like weren't true about themselves. It was like it was like a facade or when a, it was an illusion. Yeah. Wow. Fear. I have to sacrifice too much and I'm not ready to let go of what I'll lose to be with you. Don't take it personal. Yep. That's why they tried to have their kinky needed too. We are just too different to make us work. I didn't want to hurt your feelings. Yeah. People said some really mean things about you. Now I don't trust you. Wow. I was testing you to see if you would chase me. I wanted to see if you liked me as much as I liked you. Now I regret my actions. I told you they did something. I did it to get your attention but my plan backfired. So for some of you... What is this gossip about? I, I'm sick of the gossip card. Why, people, why can't people shut the hell up um, about, about my collective? Because that energy has been in, the, in my readings for weeks now. Heavy. What is all this gossip? What are they gossiping about? Shut up. Anyways, um, what is this gossip about? So they did something to try to get a reaction out of you. It actually backfired. I feel like you guys chose to go. You went cold on them. You closed off to them. And they weren't expecting that. And I feel like this was a tower moment for this person. They thought that it was going to get you to chase them and to be one of their people that were competing for them. Wow. But what, what is this gossip about? What is this gossip about? I didn't want to reveal what's been really going on in my life and unload, unload all my personal issues on you. I just wanted to be left alone. I just wanted to be friends with you, but I felt you wanted more. Too selfish to realize my actions hurt you. Wow. I know you're a catch and I love your company, but I just want to have fun and keep my options open. I told you they tried to have their cake and eat it too because they know that they're not, that you're unique, that they probably won't find anybody else like you. Um, but they also don't feel good enough for you and they like having attention from multiple people and attention from multiple people and attention.